Hey guys, Jake is here, and in today's video we're going to be talking about the biggest, the baddest, the greenest, and the meanest, our Orc Boys. Now, this video is going to be uh, a little bit different than the other ones. And the reason for this is because with Orcs, finding the right build requires some extra kind of... Um, planning let's just say um, by this what I mean is you really have to ask yourself two questions before you start the game and those questions are do I want to build the wah banner first or do I want to build the generator first and this question matters because whichever one you choose will will um, affect your gameplay uh, dramatically so for example, starting with the WAR banner allows you to reinforce your squads early on. You can get out your Shooter Boy squads or your Storm Boy squads out faster, and you can just generally be more aggressive. Building the generator first is more of a focus um, on your economy because you're trying to get that power up to upgrade your listing posts to LP2s and therefore get more requisition and you're kind of playing more defensively you can still be aggressive but you won't be as um, you won't have as much power as going with the war, war banner first it's kind of like the Montcar and Koyon for Orcs except it feels more Montcar and Koyon than it does for Tau so, to illustrate these points better, I'm going to head straight into a game, into a hypothetical situation. Let's say uh, we're in a map like Fatamorga, and our opponent is Tau. Now, we know that Tau have a very strong um, tier 1 with their fire warriors having long range and doing decent damage. So, to sort of counter this, we're going to go... The storm boys route right so storm boys can quickly jump in tie up the fire warriors and basically make things tough for our opponent to go this route we will be going the war banner way so let's head into the game first we reinforce our gretchen make a du boys hut queue up two slugger boys and queue up one gretchen and we will queue up one war banner. Now we make the slugger boys first to start capping our points early and because they do take a while to produce it's better to just get them out faster. We will leave this point for our shooter boys to cap once they come out and we won't be doing the Gretchen infiltration research because in my opinion it's kind of a waste of your resources and you don't really need it early on. Look at that, 50 requisition and 20 power. That's nuts, you can just save that. Make the shooter squad. And we'll get these Gretchens to start building this LP2. Reinforce the second one up. Have it build the war banner. And these boys can now capture some more points. These guys will capture the relic. And I'm not going to build the big mech just yet. Because I really want to just get my um, listing posts up first. This point is almost done. Okay, and now I will overwatch the big mech. And he'll just get made whenever I have the resources. Cool. So big mech's on the way. That listing post is done. We can move out and build this post. Queue up that Gretchen for that point and we'll build that and we'll start capturing some critical locations. Now Orcs rely heavily on requisition so it's important that you be greedy with them. Get as many points as you can and get that uh, you know, requisition up as high as you possibly can. I'm gonna try aim for at least like plus 90 to 100 here. 
And even then, you should probably be aiming for more. So now we attach the Big Meg to the Shooter Boy squad. Basically, the Big Meg's teleport ability will apply to the whole squad, and we can use that to, adva to our advantage. I didn't even finish this. Why do I keep doing this in all my videos? Finish your buildings, goddammit. Um, yeah, so... You can use the teleport to your advantage by chasing after enemies that are fleeing from your shooter boys. There are different applications for that ability. It's pretty nuts what you can do with it. You can use it to retreat from battles as well. Now we need to build the second war banner because we need 30 orc pop to make the storm boy squad, right? At this point, we're not too worried about getting power because we're just focusing on massing our infantry which don't require any power at all not even to reinforce so we do want to get our storm boys up to max max capacity now we can make our storm boys so that's one squad and we'll make the second squad we have enough requisition for it so once our two storm boys are out then we can start building the generators for now, we're fine. We'll just wait until our storm boys are out. Maybe we can go see... Okay, that's pretty nasty. We'll just get out of range of these fire warriors here. And we'll just shoot up these uh, crews. Okay, now we want to overwatch our storm boys here. And get their numbers up. Maybe we'll just uh, get them up to 1, 2, 3, 4, 9. Would probably be good so that we know to start the generator. And with this squad, we'll just overwatch. Our requisition is looking pretty good, plus 92. We'll try to go for higher than that. And now we go push. Push and try to fight for some uh, strategic points. Tie up those fire warriors, very important. And at this stage, when we have enough, uh, we got one generator and we have enough uh, requisition, we can build the pile of guns, which we need. We need the pile of guns uh, pretty much as soon as possible. Now these boys are a bit scared because of these crutes. Crutes do pretty good damage in melee. But we just bring in our shooter boys. See these crutes are retreating, we can just jump in. Get a bit closer and start gunning them down. Now this squad of nine storm boys can just jump in. While well, meanwhile this guy, these guys can attack over here. But this squad will bring down this listening post. Okay, once the pile of guns is done, we need to research the every boy armor research, and since we're going storm boys, the storm boy speed boost research. Make our storm boys go faster and unlock their little turbo boost ability, which makes them go even faster. Okay, and we can basically cap our opponent's points here. Oh, and we also want to overwatch the big shooters. Very important. Big shooters are kind of like heavy bolters, they do uh, a lot of damage. Except they don't have the setup time like Heavy Boulders do. I wonder if they do even more damage than Heavy Boulders. That'd be interesting to find out. But uh, basically, yeah. We need those for sure. Okay. More Fire Warriors. Jump in. Do some damage here. Our jump ability hasn't charged yet. Now it has. Now we can jump in. Shoot these Fire Warriors down. Get one squad on the Tower Commander and one squad on the Fire Warriors. And also we want to be getting our knob leaders attached to the Storm Boys. These knob leaders will do uh, even more damage in close combat. You can even get the knob leader for the Shooter Boy squad as well. Just have it on Overwatch, it'll uh, get made automatically. Now we do the more Decker research. And build one more war banner when you can. OK, 
Okay, we'll just move away here. But basically, you can see I'm doing a lot of damage to Tau right now. I'm not in any trouble from them. We're just gaining a lot of value. It's a good idea to keep your Slugger Boy squads alive as well. So now we take down this. We take our apprentice listing post down one by one. Kill off all these guys. Decap that. Okay, now we go for the Blastia research. Once we have uh, 40 pop, that's when that's unlocked. And the more choppy research. That'll improve the melee damage for the knob leaders as well as the knobs, which we'll be able to make once we make one more war banner. Orcs reach tier 2 when their population is above 50. And you're able to go tier 3 when your population is above 70. Fire warriors here, we'll just tie them up. The good thing about Storm Boys is they get stick bombs without having to do any um, previous re prior research. So we can just stick bomb any squads and what that does is it stuns them and we can just get in and do some damage. So I'll just jump away there. Too many crutes. Too many crutes with the Tau Commander shooting us down. But this squad will be able to handle the Tau Commander now. And look at all this value I'm getting. This is crazy. I should be making... While I'm fighting and getting value, I should be making more generators. Focusing on my economy now. Since I'm not in any trouble. And this is pretty much it. At this point, I can make another if I really feel like it. I can go into some knob squads. Definitely get the custom gadgets research. When you can. That will... Provides an aura around the Big Mac and any units near him that reduces incoming uh, range damage. So, research that. It also gives him the Tank Zapper ability, which lets him stun vehicles. Maybe you'll get to see me use that later on. So, this is pretty much it against Tau. How we can be aggressive. Get our Storm Boys in there. And now Tau can't stop this. We are unstoppable. Keep echoing up, keep building wire banners, get up to 70 orc pop. If we need anti-vehicle, we can go tank busters. Research the infiltration. If we really need it, we can go vehicles as well. But at this point, we can just uh, go for the win. So yeah, this is one example of using going the war banner route right the killing blow if you will much more aggressive playstyle and now i will move on to the generator route okay all right okay guys so in this um, part of the tutorial I'm going to be showing you how building a generator first affects your gameplay and we're going to be going up against Sisters of Battle you know a race that's not too crazily over, overly powered in tier 1 well they can get the flamers and the grenades but I doubt the AI will do that but we'll see we'll see what happens um, and we're going to be in Fallen City so let's just get straight into it so some similarities to the other one the boys hut but this time we will be queuing up the generator and we start capping points standard stuff so basically for most of the first part of this game we're just going to be stuck with our shooter boy squad and the big mech we're going to do our best to survive with just these guys until our economy is looking pretty good. And yeah, maybe we'll, we'll see what happens from there. So I'm going to play this as if I'm just playing this uh, style of opening normally. As I normally would. Once again, we don't do the Gretchen and Infiltration research just yet. 
And okay, so these guys are capturing this, which will capture this, these guys are capturing this, and these guys are capturing that. Perfect. And we will mm, Yeah, I'll make the uh, Big Mac now. Like I said, you don't have to delay the Big Mac like that. You can just make him straight away. Now it's interesting with this build because there are actually many possibilities you can do. You can even not make the Shooter Boy squad at all and just keep the Big Mac. But that's a bit of a risky play, you know, you're... Uh, um, the Big Mac's not as uh, tanky as other commanders, but he does have very high DPS. So if you can micro him properly, you, you could be able to pull that off. Um, yeah, his, his range damage is really high, it's just that his accuracy, I think, is a little bit um, subpar, but that's not a problem. And he deals such high damage. Cool. We attach him here, as usual, and we go out and be aggressive, but not too aggressive, right? Because we don't want to lose our squad. Now that we have the LPs up, we start adding LP2s. So already you can see the difference compared to the other um, other build order. And we just capture our opponent's uncaptured points, obviously, because we're greedy for requisition. Definitely capture the critical locations. Just anything that can be captured, just capture it, honestly. Like, you, 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 you really need it as orcs. Alrighty, so you can see that since we don't have a WA banner, I can only reinforce one uh, model to the squad. If I try any more, it'll exceed my population. Oh, we got Seraphims, great. That's beautiful, I love that. Uh, so we'll build a WA banner now. And what I'm going to do after seeing this is I'm going to make a second Shooter Boy squad. Because of my opponent's uh, infantry, they're not that strong. They could die pretty easily to a um, two squads of Shooter Boys, but those Shooter Boy squads will need to be reinforced a bit more. So I'll grab this squad, add some reinforcements, make another generator, get my power back up so I can get more LP2s. Uh, I think one of these Gretchen's was going to go over here and build this, yeah, so... Orcs can garrison in some of their uh, buildings as well, by the way. Okay. And now that I have the two shooter boys out, I'm going to focus the pilot guns. Building your pilot guns out like this next to a listing post isn't that bad of an idea because you get all of this uh, extra defense here. Just be aware that it will be prone to, you know, um, any anti-structure, structural damage like Celestians can just uh, burn all of this and you'll lose quite a lot. So I'm facing up against sisters, but you know, I, I know my opponent's not gonna rush Celestians, surely. So hopefully I'll be fine. Um, but yeah, the pilot guns can shoot and it does pretty good damage. I keep upgrading my LPs. I'm at plus 116, which is good, but I, I'm always hungry for more. Oh, I should make another war banner as well. Keep getting the wah up. And now that the pilot guns is done, we're going to overwatch our big shooters. Research the more decker. While all that's happening, while we're waiting, we can go out and be a little aggressive. Now maybe our opponent will come and attack us. So you can already see how much more uh, resource focused this build is, as opposed to um, as opposed to focusing on an army. 
maybe we'll just sneak around with these orcs and cap this critical location. Okay, now we'll head out and these big shooters will just wipe out these seraphims. Akahera the flamers, right? So we're just going to retreat a little bit. Uh, get the heavy boy armor. Get another war banner up. Get the other war banners. Oh, we can do it now. Blastia. Yeah, we need that. These shooters will do even more damage. And now, we're going to just sit on these two shooter boy squads. Unlike the other build where we had, uh, you know, two storm boys and one shooter, we're, we're gonna just stay sit on uh, the two shooter boys here because this should be enough for the time being. We're just gonna get to tier two. Just move away from these, uh, you know, flamers and use our buildings as defense here. And these sisters will just get torn to shreds. Although my boys are also dying pretty hard. We'll just move out of range of those flamers. And this is basically a death trap. Now I could go uh, storm boys in this situation. But I don't really want to uh, make that investment. Because my, my uh, big shooters are doing some good work here. And I'm actually going to go for the mech shop now. I'm tier 2, I will do that. And also I will research my globals. Power. I'm doing pretty good for uh, requisition. If your map has a slag deposit, definitely build a bigger generator on it. So what I'm going to do here is I am going to go... Kind of similar to the Rhino Sting build for the Chaos. I'm going to go the War Truck Sting. Will these guys make it? Yeah, they will. Cool. Now run away. Okay, and once this is done, we make the War Truck. Uh, will it be able to fit in here? I don't think so. Come this way. This is bound to fail. Maybe I can get the uh, Gretchen Infiltration research now. Get my generators up. Gretchen's dead. That's fine. Any more upgrades I can do. More choppy would be good for the knob leaders. Don't need the storm boys. Tougher bosses, sure thing. Make our commanders and knob leaders stronger. And build the final WA banner for tier 3. And in the meantime, just have more generators up. Now we can just get inside here. Drive around. Oh, emulator. Interesting. Jump out. Just obliterate this sister squad. Got the confessor though. And of course there's a multi mount so we will need uh, some tank busters. We could even go knobs as well. But in cases like this, oh and get the custom gadgets. In cases like this where our opponent has vehicles, we just have to um, reply with tank busters. Or war trucks. Uh, war tracks, sorry. Sisters doing a pretty big push here. Here to blow stuff up. Where are you? There you are. Let me just do big shooty on these uh, sisters. See, that's why it's important to get the blast there research because those um, those sisters just died very easily. Get our big generator back. Okay, so our truck is back.
Oh, back in we go. And then watch how quickly these sisters die. Look at that. Go tier 3. A bit late, but that's fine. And so this is pretty much it. This is the build. Uh, our economy is looking much better. And this allows us to go into other things like maybe knobs if we wanted to. Pretty good idea. But yeah, so basically this is the, the generator route. We can eco up some more. Things are looking pretty good for us. This is what the Tang Zapper does, so with the big mix selected, click a location and he'll do a little zappy thing and any vehicles in that area will get stunned. I thought that one would get stunned as well, but obviously that didn't work. Either way, just keep going. Uh, yeah, so this is it guys. Um, I'm not sure what else to talk about with orcs. If you guys have any other questions uh, orc related, I can probably answer them in the comments. But yeah, those were the two main builds I could think of when, when talking about orcs. There's not really much else uh, you could do unless you wanted to spam, you know, war tracks or war trucks just spam them you know just overwatch them that's all you need to do for that so yeah guys um hopefully this video helped you in some way and like i said let me know in the comments if you have any questions about anything and i will see you guys in the next one all right cheers guys take care